The slightest air mixed with hydraulic fluid can decrease the fluid pressure, therefore cripple the lift's capacity, rendering the wrecker unit obsolete. Be sure to take the following precautions when routine maintenance is underway on your dynamic wrecker. This diagram shows the fluid running through the system, pulling in air from the cylinder in the lines. The fluid then runs back through the filter to the return side. Air will escape each time this process is completed. We use a standard 7 8 or 5 16 inch wrench. Most importantly, turn off your record, or the pump will explode and the hydraulic fluid will go everywhere. Next, loosen the line by turning the fitting around about half a turn towards yourself. Then power the fluid system on to allow the air to escape from the line. In the line, air is still in the fluid when you see that milky bubble texture oozing from the hose. When the air is free from the system, the fluid will have a non-active texture as shown. In the pump, there is a filtration vent that will remove any straggling air that hasn't escaped from the cracked line. Then you'll want to tighten the fitting on the line you just cracked under the hood. The same half turn as before, only away from you. Test all the functions on your wrecker unit. If any function's pressure is weak, there is still air in the system. So continue running the fluid until the air has escaped. Now your hydraulic system should pose no more pressure problems and your dynamic wrecker should work properly. If you have any more questions or concerns about this product or any other items mentioned today, feel free to visit us at www. Dot dynamic mfg.com for more information and some tips.